Hey, it's Aaron. Today I'm standing in front of the all new 2021 Nissan Rogue. Nissan completely revamped this vehicle. It is from the ground up completely different than it was before, with a couple of exceptions. One, still has that great interior. This time it's bigger and roomier. And two, it still has that nice little 2.5 liter engine that just seems to be right sized for the car. So that engine I talked about, you can hear it now, it's 2.5 liter. It's a nice little kind of an all around four cylinder engine Nissan uses in several vehicles. It connects to a CVT. The CVT has been retuned. I only know that because I can feel it. Uh, it just feels different. It's a little more uppity, gets going quicker. So your total numbers on this are 181 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. The torque comes faster, it comes around 3600 RPM at peak. Uh, that really shows in the drive quality of this car. The uh, horsepower doesn't peak until about 6000 RPM, so you'll rarely see that, that top horsepower number. You're probably mostly going to be somewhere in the 100 to 120 range while you're driving every day. So looking at the car lengthwise, you can see it's a very different design than it was before. It's a lot more square, it's a little more robust, it means more interior room. Also, I'd like to point a couple of things out that are a little bit of a surprise. This car is, the Rogue is now actually shorter in terms of its length than it was before. That overall distance is actually 180, 182 inches now versus 185 in the previous generation. That's surprising given how much more interior room there is. Cargo space is also better in this one. Uh, it's the same with the rear seats up, but it, go, it improves by about four cubic feet with the second row folded down for the overall. So it's about 74 in total. That's really amazing. They did a lot of work to increase the interior space. Nissan added a lot of stuff to this new Rogue. It has the most in its class in terms of built-in safety technologies. Uh, those are really cool. There's a lot of them. I'm not going to bother listing everything. Basically, if you can think of it, it's probably included. What I want to talk about is usefulness in the cargo space. So the cargo, you can hold your foot down here, see that, and it will pop open, or you can push the button under there. In this cargo space back here, you have the stow-and-go shelving. Now, if you remember, they had this in the previous generation, but it's changed now just to accommodate this larger space. Uh, so you can still make the, the uh, shelves to go up and keep things away from each other. You can still set these up like this to keep things from rolling around. It's more than a gimmick. It's really smart. It took me a while to put that back, didn't it? Let's talk a little bit about the rear passenger seats in the Rogue. Look, I have headroom six foot three also want to note the side door opens at 90 degrees that makes it really easy to get things in and out of this back seat especially car seats and little kids the outer seats so this seat and the one by that door as well as those front seats are Nissan zero gravity seats I can't explain how great they are you're gonna to have to just try them because holy crap awesome one last thing on the interior I want to talk about the Rogue's new information displays, Nissan's phrase. So I'm just gonna flip the camera and show you what's going on. So what we're looking at here is the instrument cluster. You can see uh, the tachometer, speedometer, and everything in between. This huge screen right here, that's the driver information display. Tri driver information display. So, uh, Right now it's showing me some stuff. I'm just gonna dismiss that message. And then flip you really quickly through some of the things that it can do. Here is all of your radars. Uh, kind of important. I wanna note a couple of things. I'll get to those in a minute. But you can see the, dis the just the display is nicely laid out. Easy to read in pretty much every lighting condition. Right now it's the worst because the sun is actually on this side of the car and you can still clearly see everything. Also want to note that Nissan does have a head-up display available for this uh, vehicle. It's the first time ever. And uh, while I haven't tried it, I'm a big fan of HUDs. So there you go. Moving over, you can see this is the new infotainment display. They call it a floating display. It sticks up off the dash. Kind of impressed, not terribly. 
it works like Nissan uh, infotainment has worked for the last two or three years. There's really no difference other than the screen is slightly larger and it's floating instead of embedded in the uh, in the dash. That's all I've got to show you with that. Uh, I'm not going to go into details as to how it works. One more thing I want to point out is that Nissan has changed the shifter. So you see now it's this big square knob. If I put my foot on the brake, you pull it back like this for drive, push it up like that for reverse, push that to park. Getting into neutral, I just learned this in the car wash in an embarrassing moment. <laughs> uh, to get it into neutral, you pull gently like this to go into neutral. If you pull it all the way, it goes to drive. I did not realize that. To get into neutral, you have to go just gently like that. Now to do it from drive is even harder. I had a really tough time with that. You see, I had to do it twice. Something you just have to get used to because it's inherent to the vehicle now. So there you go, that's what I got. Talking about the 2021 Nissan Rogue. Completely new for this year, exceedingly well done. Kudos to Nissan for that. Talk to you again soon. Probably did that too late, have to cut it out. But my grin looks good, don't it? Subscribe!